Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to take static data with your Hemisphere S631 receiver. So what I'm going to do to begin here is I've just got a web page open on my PC, and you can do this on an iPhone, on an Android device, on your Windows tablet, anything that you can connect to the internet with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi network that's put out by my receiver. So I'm going to open up my Wi-Fi option menu here. And you can see that my third option here is looks like the serial number you can find on the bottom of your receiver. So in this case, this is the serial number of the receiver I want to use here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit connect here, and it's just going to connect to my Wi-Fi signal. It might not tell you that it's connected, but as long as it says connecting, you're good to proceed. So what I'm going to do now that I'm connected is I'm going to open up a web page here. So in this case, I'm using Google Chrome. You can use anything that you normally use to browse the internet as long as you can enter an address into it. And I'm going to enter the following address, 192.168.10.1. And when I hit enter here, it's going to ask me to sign in. So the username for the S631 is just simply admin, all lowercase. And then the password is S631, again, all lowercase. And I'll just throw those uh, down into the description below so you can easily copy and paste those if you want to. So once I've entered that, I'm just going to sign in here. And I'm now inside the web UI page for the Hemisphere S631. So on our status page here, we can see we got our system mode, which is Rover, and then some basic positional info and what kind of satellites we're seeing. But I can't do anything to record any static data right now. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to head to the top right corner there and I'm going to want to hit settings. And you can see here right at the top in my working mode tab, I have something called system mode and you can see that rover is selected right now. And to the left of it, I have the option to select static. So if I click static here, it's going to change my bubble from rover to static. And you can see that some of my options down below have changed. And if I just scroll down with the bar here on the right, you can see that I have a bunch of options that I can change. In this case, I'm gonna leave these as is. If you're taking static data, the default options are more than okay to record uh, proper static data. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit save there at the bottom, and that will now change my system mode to static. So if we look here again, I can see that it says system mode static, and then record idle with a start record button to the right of it. So if I click start record here, it's actually gonna begin recording static data and saving it to my receiver. So what I'll do now here is I'm just going to leave this for a minute to record some static data so I can show you what the file looks like, and I'll come back to you in a second here. Okay, so I've now been recording data for several minutes here. If I was in the field, I'd obviously want to take a several hour long static file, but since for the point of this video, I just want to give you guys a quick demonstration, I'm going to stop here after several minutes. So to do that, in my system mode option here, you can see that it says stop record. So what I'm going to do is click that and then don't worry if it doesn't instantly stop recording. It takes a second for the receiver to register this command. Um, and so it'll just say static recording for a second after you click it and then it'll flip over to say static stopped and start record again. So now that I've actually got my static file, I need to download it from the receiver. And to download it from the receiver, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to my third tab there in the top menu, the download tab. And you can see that I now have a file from when I recorded this video, which is on March 13th. Obviously, when this you are watching this video, it is no longer March 13th. But when I recorded it, it was March 13th. So I know that is the file I want to download. And I have two ways I can download this. I can either download each file individually by hitting download under the operation menu there. Or I can select several files at once by hitting the box there under the select menu and then hitting the package download option uh, at the bottom next to delete selected. And that'll just let me download several static files at once. And I'm not going to show you in this video. We have another video that I'll link to in the top right corner. Once you've downloaded all these static files, you can put it through Hemisphere's Rhinex converter and get your static data that you can send into Opus or PVP in Canada. And that's all for today's video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or you have any ideas for future videos, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204. Leave us a comment down below or reach out to us over the website at bench-mark.ca.